to tonight's developing story. A Phoenix police officer under investigation accused of making a threat against the city's mayor, Kate Gallego. ABC 15, the first to report this story. And tonight, our Zach Crenshaw is live outside City Hall. Zach, how did this alleged threat uh, come to light? Yeah, well, Phoenix police officials aren't saying much about it, Katie, but sources tell us that fellow officers actually reported it after their coworker, who is now at home under investigation, made it while in uniform. Well, this is this could very easily be a felony. Yes, it, it's, it's going to depend on what the investigation shows. For 22 years, Steve Pullis has been tasked with protecting and serving Phoenix, but now city officials forced to increase the mayor's security detail to protect her from police. And the mayor's concerned. Councilman Carlos Garcia heard about the threat Tuesday. A uh, police officer mentioned it in front of other police officers and someone came forth and, and brought the threat forward. Now, Officer Pullis has been assigned to home, telling us over the phone Tuesday, quote, this is ridiculous because it's not what I said. You know, you can think a lot of things, but you don't get to verbalize them. Retired Phoenix Assistant Chief Andy Anderson. Uh, Phoenix has asked uh, Tempe, it's my understanding, they've asked Tempe to look into the criminal side of it. If Tempe PD and prosecutors don't find the threat to be a felony, the officer will likely be able to retire after two decades on the force. The debate around police reform and accountability has become increasingly hostile, both nationally and here in Arizona. The Phoenix Police Department's main rank and file union plea, normally outspoken about local politicians. She is being driven by the mayor and council. Uh, we've only had one council person that has spoken up for us. The union, though, noticeably silent Tuesday on social media and in requests for comment. And, and I think they need to be careful with the words and the way they attack us uh, on the council for trying to hold them accountable. When Chief Jerry Williams fired officers in late 2019, she said this. The trust was eroded and that the brand called the Phoenix Police Department was tarnished. Now that brand is impacted again, and it involves one of the few people Chief Williams reports to. If this is true, it's incredibly unfortunate, and it's certainly the last thing any police department wants to hear. Now, as we've seen in the past, these criminal and internal investigations can at times take months. You heard the officer is assigned to work from home. If he is not charged with a felony, it is highly likely he'll be able to retire with his pension. Live tonight, downtown Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Zach, thank you.